Let's take a look at interacting with our software. Uh, for the most part, when we run our application so far, we just kind of see results on the screen. But now I want you to interact with your software. You can give it some information, for example. So let's take a look at how to do this with a console application. So right now we have a sample application. It's just printing what is your name to the screen. So when I run that, it's just saying what is your name. So I want to be able to type my name in here, for example, Robert. And then when I hit enter, I want it to say hi, Robert, for example, Some, something like that. So we can utilize the read line um, line right here. and so far we've only used this line just to kind of halt the application so our window doesn't close on us because uh, remember without this the window just instantly disappears however it does have a function and what read line does it actually captures some input from us uh, so what happens is um, if we hover over this it actually tells you it reads the next line of characters from the standard input stream quite complicated isn't it <laughs> So what this basically does is captures our input when we hit the enter key on the keyboard. And the result of that we can store into a string. If we hover over this, you can see string here. And this is what comes back to us. So we can define a new variable. We'll call it result. We could call it user input. We can call it whatever we would like. So what we're doing now, we're getting the result of this operation which is read line that grabs anything we type in there after we hit enter and it stores it in this variable here then what I want to do is say hello to whatever name you put in here so remember how to concatenate strings we have our first string here hello uh, or you know strings are enclosed by double quotes and then we want to join a string with the result of this operation which is also a string so we're going to do that there and we want to sound really enthusiastic so we're going to do an exclamation mark as well so we're joining three strings together hello the ex exclamation mark and the result which is a string variable from the result of the user input let's run this application so now it's saying what is your name i'm going to put robert when i hit enter we have nothing, and that is because we haven't told it to keep the console window open. So let's put that back down there. Again, hit the play button, type in our name, hit enter, and now it's saying, hello, Robert. It's quite easy, isn't it? And that's how, how to capture user input in a console application.